Hello and welcome to Client Engager. In today's video I'm going to take you through how to sign up for Client Engager for the first time for your firm and what you need to be aware of as you do this process. So let's roll the credits and have a look at how we sign up for Client Engager. Hello and welcome to this video from Client Engager. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can sign up for your trial of Client Engager, the bits of information you need to be aware of, and then how you can log in for the first time. So to do this, we need to jump over to the Client Engager website. So here we are on the Client Engager website. First of all, I'm going to scroll down to get started for free. I'm just going to fill out this form and I'm going to make this up as I go along. So I'm going to say I'm a sole trader today. Okay, so it's asking me to check my email. So I'm now gonna go over and have a look at my email quickly. Okay, so I've now received my email from Client Engager to confirm to set up. So let's go and click on that. So first of all, it's asking me to confirm SMS code. So this is to verify my mobile phone number. I've got the phone, got the mobile number. I've got my mobile here and it's sent me a code. Now it's asking me to set my domain. Now this is really important. This is the bit that you're gonna save as a favorite on your desktop. So I'm gonna keep it as jgbookkeeping.engager.app and I'm gonna set a password. I'm not gonna use this, I'm gonna use my own password. Just to make things easier for this. And make sure when you're setting your password, you're following all the security requirements. There we go. So I'm gonna confirm that. I'm not gonna save this now. And that's it, it's now creating my login for Client Engager. Okay, so that's my instance of Client Engager now created. I'm all signed up, ready to go. Remember, it can take up to five minutes if it's really busy on the server, but it's, not been, it's only been about a minute for us today. So it's saying now to access this, go to jgbookkeepingengager.app. So I'm gonna click on this. I'm gonna save this bit here as a favorite. I'm on a Mac, so it's quite easy to do that. I'm just gonna add it to my bookmarks. So this is where you're gonna log in. You don't go back to the Client Engager website to log in. You enter your domain that you've created in your setup process and you log in using this. Okay, and now it's gonna walk you through the setup of your Client Engager. So let's have a look at what this all involves. So basically I'm going to go through and put all my settings in here that I haven't populated already. And then I'm going to save this. Now when you add a system user at the moment on Client Engager, it doesn't email that user with the details. So what you need to do is you need to give that new user the domain name here, the engager.app with your name in front. And then you need to give them a temporary password and their email address. So if I add a, temp, a new one here, so we'll call this test, test. I'm gonna give them a temporary password and I'm gonna just call it test at engager.app. I'm gonna select the color that this person looks at, has on the system. I can select if they're in a spe specific department if I've created that. I can then select whether they're a user or an admin and whether they're active or archived. And if they're a user, I can select what permissions they've got on here, look. So, then I've got to go through and set my default terms and conditions. I can build my services, create my service groups, format my emails, format my tech, yes, format my text messages, and then add my first client or I can import multiple clients. I'm going to go into the import multiple clients part in a new in the next video for you. So there we have it. Really quick and easy to sign up to Client Engager. What you'll notice is I wasn't asked for my credit card details or my bank card details at any point in that process. You've got a 28 day free trial. 
In that 28 days, you have 100% of our functionality. You can use it from day one, as if you're using it in your practice from day one. You can sign up your clients, you can send your letters of engagement, you can work through all your services. It's all 100% functional in, during the trial. At the end of your 28 tri day trial, it will then ask you to enter your credit card or bank card details so we can start partaking in the subscription payments. It's a 30 day contract. If you do not renew your payment, you stop using Client Engager. You're not tied in for a year or two years as I've seen with some of our competitors. You're just here for 30 days as long as you're happy. The main takeaway from this is to remember to log into your, to be able to log into your Client Engager you need to take that domain name from that website address that you created. So in my case, it was jgbookkeepingservices.engager.app. I entered that into my web browser, that came up with my login screen. And that's the really important part to remember. Hope this video has been useful to you. If you've got any questions, please let us know. And of course, don't forget to join us in our Facebook community page so that you can ask any questions you've got to the Facebook community and share your ideas and feedback on the product. Thank you very much.